Today, Sunday, was supposed to be the day I finally get back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Guess what happened? My internet screwed up. Yeah, I woke up this, well, first of all, it was actually late last night. I was on my couch relaxing, watching WWE Network. <laughs> internet craps out on me. And I'm like, oh, what is this? I hope this doesn't happen tomorrow for WrestleMania and all that, right? So I said, okay, whatever, I'll watch a Blu-ray. Watch the Blu-ray. After the, the Blu-ray was done, the internet had come back. So I thought I was in the clear. Woke up this morning. Internet was working partially. Like, it was working as, as soon as I woke up. I went to go set everything up to stream. And Mass Effect, <laughs> no internet. Internet was gone for a whole hour. Finally comes back. Wasn't working, so I couldn't upload. I couldn't, I couldn't stream. So, the good news is... Because I'm under Comcast's business-level internet, I pay a lot of money for internet. Like, probably three times as much as most people. But, they really go out of their way to make sure that my internet works. So, they had a guy out here within an hour. The guy went outside, looked at the house, he's looking at the house, he says, First of all, your lines are loose, which means bad, because I had to tighten everything. This is, like, really loose. Apparently, you know, because we get a lot of wind and, and rain and stuff in this area of the country, uh, the, the lines themselves weren't, like, fully secured. So he fixed that, he said there was some noise in the line, he did his best to clear that up. Came inside, gave me a new cable modem, and by the time he was done with all that, everything was perfect. And I even did a test, a half an hour test stream, where I just sat there talking with people for about 30 minutes to see if the internet was going to be stable. And it was stable the entire time. So I think whatever it was was just a minor blip, something, maybe it was a loose cable, who knows. And I think we're good to go, and I think there's not going to be any issues moving forward. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, alright? The bad news was, I was supposed to start streaming at 11am, the guy wasn't gone until after like 2.30pm. So here I am, I already lost 2-3 hours of streaming, and I had to make an executive decision. Am I going to play Mass Effect and only get a couple hours in? And quite frankly, I knew if I tried to stream Mass Effect that late that I wasn't going to get a lot of viewers because people thought the stream had been off because my internet was screwed up, right? So I made the executive decision. I said, you know what I'll do? No stream today. What I'll do is I'll eat now. I did. I ate earlier today. And I ended up playing about two and a half more hours of Danganronpa. Um, and that was fun. You know, I like Danganronpa. It's a great game. The problem is uh, I know for a fact that this coming week, with Persona 5 coming up. I have a certain grouping of viewers and fans who like to watch me play new releases. I have a certain grouping of viewers and fans who like to watch me play these different genres of game. Yes, I have a group of fans that like to watch, watch me play these Japanese-style games, but it's not my entire viewer base. I guarantee you what'll happen. This Tuesday, you know, Persona 5 comes out. I'm going to be playing it all day Tuesday, and I'll give you the schedule in a moment. I'll play it all day. First day will be great. People will be out on stream enjoying it. And after that, well, it's just a JRPG. And people will stop watching. Now, I don't think that everyone, but I, that's what happens. You get that first day hype, and then after that, some people will say, well, it's just a JRPG, and they'll move on. Because sadly, it's actually hard for me to get consistent viewership on any kind of RPG. It's always been like that. No matter what RPG I've ever played, it's been tough. Now, other RPGs that are more action hybrids, like Fallout and stuff like that, a lot easier. But a traditional style RPG, every time I've played one, the viewership dips dramatically after the first couple of sessions. So I know that I can't, only play Persona. So what I'm going to do later this week is balance Persona 5 with Mass Effect Andromeda because they're drastically different styles of games, and I think that will actually keep people entertained. But if I'm already playing two incredibly long games, you know, Mass Effect supposedly is anywhere from tw uh, 20 hours if you rush it, 40 to 60 hours if you do all the content. Uh, people are saying Persona 5 is 100 hours. If I'm playing two incredibly long games like that, there's no time to do anything else. So I know Danganronpa now, I'm like really far into it. I'm more than halfway through chapter 5, and there's only 6 chapters in the game, so maybe if I had pl kept playing, I would have finished it within a week. It's just not gonna happen. Danganronpa has to go on hold now. Because I know, for example, if I were to play Persona 5 and Danganronpa, and that was it, first of all, the Mass Effect playthrough would be dead, because it would be multiple weeks I'm not playing the game, but in addition, it's two Japanese-centric games being played at once. Wouldn't work, I'm telling you. I know exactly what would happen, because I've done this before. Uh, people would go away and say, Oh man, Phil's playing all these weeaboo, weeaboo games, you know what I mean? Like, I oh, he's playing these, I hate these anime light games. And then they wouldn't come back for a while until I played a completely different, drastically different kind of game. And that's not good. I, I need to kind of have variety for everything going on, okay? So, I played the shit out of Danganronpa this week. I've gotten absolutely as far as a human could get. In the amount of time that I had, now sadly that playthrough is going on hold, but it's fine because I know a lot of people have not been caught up on that playthrough because I played it so much this week, it took people by surprise. They were like, shit, I didn't think Phil was going to play Danganronpa that much. Now you have plenty of time to get caught up, alright? Then I hopefully you'll come check out the Persona 5 playthrough this week because that's kind of the same kind of deal. Um, and then later this month when I start to get further in and maybe when I wrap up with Mass Effect or, or Persona 5 or you know things get freed up a little bit more, then we'll go back to Danganronpa. Don't worry, there's zero chance of me dropping Danganronpa because I've promised a full playthrough to the patrons and that's absolutely going to happen, okay? 